Hey guys, so I'd mentioned in uh, a few previous videos or some time ago that um, I'd ordered a new charge controller and um, it has finally arrived. Um, it's from Electro um, Dacus, a um, guy called Dacian. Um, so yeah, so it arrived fairly quick. A um, couple of gotchas was the um, pretty high postage if you wanted any tracking. So yeah, it was a bit frustrating so I paid that and then the equally frustrating part was that in Port Duty, um, which was, in all honesty, not expected. I think I've maybe fared fairly well. Um, so I just thought I'd do this video, just have a very quick first look at it. Um, not even open the box as you can see. Um, just trying to obscure the top with my address on. Um, yeah, so the idea is this, it's got the, um, the cell monitoring thing to, um, built in um, and balancing. So if I just do that. So, just go through the bits and pieces. That's uh, shocky diodes, and zip ties. Um, I believe this is the connector that you use for the um, the balancing, and you can do up to um, 8S, 8 cells, um, and this is the the unit itself. Um, uh, seems fairly solid. It's surprising how little there is to these um, compared to what you would have for um, the like the EP ever ones I have. This is a 40 amp charge controller. Um, what I'll do is I'll go and get the the 30 amp that I've got of the um, EP ever um, just to see. But what we can do is um, so this is for the balance lead that's keyed in there. Um, I believe that's an extra connector for controlling um, the inverter or such like. Um, I think that's what that's for. But then. Do have a series of connectors down here, um, and you do have micro USB, so you can charge it. That's why I've got the power bank handy here. My <laughs> DIY power bank using some some spare cells, but I uh, don't think it's got much on. It's got 47% there, but it's a pretty high capacity um, cells. So yeah. Um, Straight and then it's uh it's got a boot menu so to speak up oh, it's up and running. Um tells you it's on USB power. Um like, touch sensitive. Does have Wi-Fi built into it as well, which is cool. The only disappointing part is that it's um, it'll only act as a um, access point. So if you're using a, a phone or a, a tablet or whatever, it's great. You can connect to it. Um, there's a gentleman's come up with a um, piece of HTML that you can um, launch on your phone, which will connect to it, um, and so you can get a lot of this information, battery capacity, and what's balanced and, and such like. Um, which is great. Um, the bad point about that is that my charge controller is at the bottom of the garden, and it's something you've got to do in a very manual process. Um, and I must admit, I do like just being able to check with the things that we showed in the last video with the Grafana, um, and I just periodically have a look to see what the battery's at. Um, if I've got to walk down the bottom of the garden and or halfway down, if the Wi-Fi is stretching, you know, it's manually switch my phone to the um, access point um, SSID then launch this page it's a bit clunky in my view I must admit um, and I sadly I don't think he's got any views to change that um, so yeah so it seems pretty solid um, it is recommended to put a heat sink um, on the back even for the 40 model um, it's interesting that that would just attached to one of these thick PCB like materials rather than attach um, to like a metal back plate or anything so I'm not sure I'll need it with just 600 watts of panels 
Um, so yeah, so not much to this video, just to say I've got it and there'll be a video coming up. Um, if anyone's seen these and wants to know anything in particular or say anything, then um, you know, put a comment down below. Um, and then I'll what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this, have a, a play with it. Um, I think I might hook it up in the house first, just to maybe take some cells like these and small pack um, just to see how it goes before then unleash it um, outside um, yeah. a couple of reservations I do have as well as the Wi-Fi is the fact that um, it can only support your packs in parallel um, so I've got six 12 volt panels so I've got those in three pairs at the moment um, and so my plan was to potentially put those in series so that would have been just below 100 volts um, open circuit which would then mean that if one of them gets shaded or a pair of them get shaded I'd still be getting some decent throughput um, you can't do that with this, you've got to parallel everything up um, so that 40 amp sounds like a high limit but in, in all honesty when you've got to parallel everything up it um, brings it down a bit um, so yeah that's a bit of a disappointment but I guess I'll have to install it and just see how um, how much the shading does take effect because Two of my panels, as you've seen, are on the extension of the playhouse, and one of the panels on a slightly lower, slightly different angle um, roof of the original playhouse. So I'm wondering if those two panels, because they get very shaded in winter, are going to drag the other two down. Um, but I guess time will see. But, um, okay, guys, just let's like say a short video um, and stick any comments down below. Cheers, bye.